Hi, I'm so excited for this week's prompt. Um, we are just going to get right to it because I can't hardly stand it and I already lost my, my card here. So this week we are going to look at the Batik background technique. So it says, start with light colors on the page, stamp and emboss over it, use darker color spray over the background, heat the embossed image and wipe away. All right, so I'm going to walk you through step by step. Here is a sample I did, okay, um, just to kind of play and test it out. And this is completely smooth. It's not embossed anymore because I wiped it away. And I'm going to teach you how to do this. It's super fun and easy. And, you know, it's just another fun technique to learn and to play with, okay? So I really kind of wanted to use my um, Color Bloom Brimstone Wings and the Dilutions Blue Lagoon. I think I use them here, actually, <laughs> and it's so pretty. Um, and I use the white, I realize, but um, for this technique, I would not recommend using the gloss spray, the Dina Wakely gloss spray from your kit. I would stick with these two, um, or you could use any other spray you have in your collection that is a dot, just a dye-based spray and not an acrylic spray, okay? That will work the best. I'm going to start on this because this page is kind of already started. It's got some white space that I can play with, but also a little bit of color already. And it's really pretty and I'm excited. Okay. I'm also going to use this stamp set. So any stamp set that you have will work. Um, you know, the, the more, let me show you the other one, the more space you have, you know, like a bolder stamp or something will work better because you'll see more of underneath. But really, I mean, any kind of stamp will be okay. I chose some flowers. That'll be fun. I'm going to flip this over so we just have the one page showing. And then you'll also need separate from your kit some kind of embossing uh, um, collection, right? So you need either a Versamark or the Wow Embossing Ink. And then I'm using clear um, I would recommend clear at least for your first time, but if you get really good at it, you could use a color of embossing powder because it's mostly going to be pulled away anyway. So, um, so get those supplies out and here we go. So I've started with a little bit here already, but um, if you're starting on a blank page, you can start with it just white and do some inking and embossing right away or you can put a little bit of color down and maybe a pattern maybe you could you know this was done with my stencil for the month so you could put your stencil down and do a little but leave some white space okay so that you can stamp in the white space too and it just it just looks really cool in the end if you have a, a little bit of white space here and there okay so that's out of the way so first thing we're going to I'm just going to get under papers for when I uh, do the embossing part. So I'm just going to pick one of the flowers. So let's go, let's go with this flower. Yeah, I like this one. And I'm going to put on my block so I get a nice good impression. And I've got my embossing um, powder ready to go. And we're just going to emboss like normal, like you've always done. Okay, so I'm putting it deliberately in some white space, but also in some not so white spaces. And I'm leaving room because I'm going to do a second flower um, after. Okay, so I'm just going to do three. And you can't see where it is, so you kind of have to, unless you remember, or you do them one at a time, I suppose. You're going to kind of have to just put your embossing powder all over so you get good coverage okay it's gonna be a little messy but this is really fun I promise so I'm just gonna let it fall tap it a little bit okay so you can't see yet but it's all gonna work out I promise all right so then put our embossing powder back and remember I'm using clear here and I recommend that at least for your first time use clear okay now I'm gonna heat this Okay, it's heated. You still can't see it because it's clear, and that's okay. So the next thing I want to do <clears throat> is add a little bit of color to this background, okay? So we're going to start with a lighter color. Actually, I'm going to do little green, little, or actually little green, little blue, and then I might flip it, okay? And you'll see. Just a minute here. So i got to shake this up. <clears throat>
Okay, let's see what I want to do. All right, so we're going to go here. Just do that. I don't have to shake this one. Making a mess. It's good times. Ooh, now the, the flowers are starting to show up. And this is an embossed resist, right? We, know, we all know and love that technique. Okay, so now I'm going to... Okay, now I'm going to use a paper towel and just pick up the extra. I'm going to do two here, actually. Okay, so we're just going to pick up the excess. We don't need to wait for it to dry or anything. We're good. We're still good. I'm going to wipe away this. <gasps> Look at how pretty that is. Ooh, I love it. Okay, try to stay kind of clean as we go here. Okay, next, we're going to leave everything how it is and dry this real quick. Mm, that's so pretty. And do you see how I've got little dots here, if I bring it up close from the paper towel? So that's a, an unexpected, fun little texture there. Okay, so now I'm done with this stamp, all right? I want to put a different stamp up here. And let's go with, do I want another flower? I think I do actually. Let's go with the big flower. Hold on, let me see what my words are too. Okay, this is good. I just want flowers for right now. So we're gonna do this flower and we're gonna fill in some of the, whoops, some of the gaps. Okay, so we'll go over here, nice big one. Get a nice good impression. Um, I didn't do it, I always forget, don't I? But you might wanna use your embossing buddy before you do this step so that in case your background isn't fully dry, you're not gonna get um, too much you know, hanging over. It's okay if you do, it's gonna look really cool, but if you want it to be nice and clean and you know, a little bit neater, I wanna go up in this corner, but this block is gonna prevent me from doing that, so I'm just gonna go rogue here, because that's what I do. There we go. I don't care if I get the full image. Okay, I think I'm good. I got three of those flowers. Do the same process again. All right, I kind of know general, generally where I went here. All right, and then we'll let this drop. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Ooh, I'm excited. <gasps> it's gonna be good, you guys. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. All right, so this is the last time we're, ooh, we're doing embossing powder. So after this, you can put this stuff away, okay? All right, put that off to the side. We'll deal with it later. All right, now I'm going to emboss these flowers. Okay, can't see those flowers now either, can you? That's okay. Now I'm going to do the opposite colors. So I'm going to take the green and put it up here, and I'm going to take the blue and put it down here, okay? So I'm going to shake this up again. Now this is just one quick way to do this. There are lots of ways to do it. I say, you know, just do one page the way I'm doing it, kind of the general technique and get the technique down and then let it run, let it run, right? Like just whatever you can think of after that because you're gonna think of so many cool things. Okay, hard to see, but I can definitely see the flowers standing out and you can see it better with the darker color there. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the kitchen towel again, wipe it up. Okay, now if you wanted it to be bolder and darker, just let it dry naturally and you'll be fine, right? But otherwise, you know, this works fine to get the excess off. So now we want to have it be completely flat and not have these shiny embossed areas. So you can leave it this way and this is great and it looks fantastic and you can see, you know, the green and the blue coming through a little bit. I think I want a little bit more green in there and I'm gonna dry it this way okay but what I'm gonna show you is first I'm gonna dry this and then what I'm gonna do is take my kitchen towel and heat each each flower separately and then I'm gonna wipe away the embossing powder and it looks so cool it looks like batik fabric because now it's totally flat but it has these different like layers of colors and patterns in them it's really really cool so bear with me here Okay, I'm gonna let this dry a little bit longer while I start working down here on these flowers. So, <clears throat> so I'm gonna walk you through this as I do the first one, and then, um, you know, then I'll just keep doing the same thing for for each of the flowers till I'm done. So I'm gonna start at the bottom here, and I'm gonna heat it up 
so that we're melting that embossing powder again. Okay, so we're melting it, and then we're just gonna wipe. Okay, and just keep doing it till it's all gone. Okay, and you don't have to get every little bit, especially if you're working with clear. This is why I say work with clear because it's gonna, um, you know, you don't have to worry about any like residue left behind. You're just not gonna see it. So that first one is done and it just looks so different when it's completely flat and matte and like just part of your paper now. Okay. All right, I'm gonna every once in a while flip my paper towel around so that, um, you know, you've got a clean section and just wipe and you'll feel it. It's gonna be, oh, it's hot, but it's gonna be nice and smooth. All right, and it already looks so cool. It just gives it a different look and feel. <clears throat> okay, I'm going up here. All right, I'm gonna do the last two in a second, but once you get the hang of it, it's really pretty easy to do. Um, and again, just keep flipping your paper towel. Use the same one, you don't have to get a new one, it's fine. But look, I, it's just so cool. I mean, think about all the, this is like summer fun right here. I don't know, I just, I'm just in love with this technique. Let me finish these last two. The other thing that I'm learning with doing this, okay, I'm good is um, if you're gonna use the color bloom spray, which I highly recommend, you get some really cool staining in here. And because it dries differently than the other one, you get a little bit of glossiness and like distressy. I don't know how to explain it, but okay, check this out. So it's all, look at, it's matte, it's flat to your page. I mean, think about the fun pages you could make with this. And you know, this is in our journal, but I want you to think about this outside of the journal as well. What if you took regular, this is watercolor paper obviously, right? But so you could use sheets of watercolor or just, you could try it on regular cardstock. Um, I would say make sure the cardstock is good to work with a spray because you wanna use a spray on here and you want it to be able to move around a little bit. So watercolor paper might be better might be the best choice, but experiment. You never know. And then you can do this. I mean, this kind of almost reminds me of a gel a gel print, you know, where it's it's just sort of random and you try different color combinations. You could do like light blues and dark blues, you know, um, like you could make it monochromatic. You could do so many things. And then you could even cut this up and use it um, in another layout somewhere else. You know what I mean? So anyway, I love this technique. I think it's so fun. And it's really easy actually. And people are gonna be like wait a minute how did you do that <laughs> so cool it's um it might I don't know if it's coming across as well in the screen you know here on the video but I'm telling you when you do this for yourself I think you're gonna be in love with it it's just so much fun so all right I'm gonna add um, a word here and or a couple words maybe really quick and I'm just gonna put them even right in there. I'm not even gonna put them on a separate paper. Okay, <clears throat> so I've just got some black ink. Just whatever black ink you've got will be fine. <clears throat> and I might do a couple words on here. It's nice. Kindness. Ooh, maybe I'm gonna, I was gonna, oh no, no, no. I know what I'm gonna do, hold on. Sometimes this is how it goes, right? <laughs> Okay, hold on, let's see what the words are. I got kindness, tranquility, flower, strength, and hope. Okay, so I'm gonna do hope. Ooh, that's hot. Whew, I just touched the heat gun tip. That was very hot. Um, dang it, it's, sometimes this block just really gets me because I don't plan for where I'm gonna stamp. There we go, that works. 
Sometimes you just got to go rogue there, okay? And then the other one I wanted was strength. Strength, kindness, and hope. That's nice, right? And then I think what I might do um, is come back and do a little journaling on here or something. Yeah, I love that. I think this looks fantastic. Um, if you really wanted to also, if you did something like this, you know, you could add little sequins in the flowers or whatever, whatever looks, looks good for you. Um, definitely I think I want to do some journaling or at least some doodling around here. Um, that'll be another day, you know, I do my doodles later so I don't wreck my pens. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you like this technique. It's super fun. I can't wait to see what you do with it. Great. Have a great day.